Uh, Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined once again by Demi Jade Reston here at the Team GB camp in Sheffield. It's been about a year since we spoke, we were just saying off camera. A lot can happen in a year, can't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I hope you're well. <laughs> yeah, really, really good. And it's been a, a big year for yourself and building towards the summer and yeah. the Olympics. How does the mindset change going into such a big time of the year for, you, for yourself? Well, I think it's been completely different this time round, like Christmas, I've had to train over Christmas and things like that, which is understandable if we've got a competition next week, but also it's the Olympic year, so you're like, God, right, I've got to keep going, keep at it, keep motivated, so I think, yeah, you just got to give it your all now, because in six months I could change my whole life. Yeah. Does it give you that extra sharpness when it's just around the corner you know we've got a couple of qualification events left we've got the event here next week in Sheffield of course just that extra little bit of sharpness yeah definitely I think it gets us out so like next week we'll be getting just ticking over I suppose getting out ticking a few boxes and then when it comes to March in Italy the first qualification or hopefully I will qualify but if not there's obviously Thailand in May but definitely looking to qualify in uh, March very much get it done nice and early, give yourself a little bit of time to rebuild and refocus, ready for the Olympics, get it in Italy, happy days? Yeah, definitely. I think it's important as well as training, but not to overtrain, because mm. you can get too keen and overtrain. So no, definitely, I think, get it done so then I can have a little bit of mental rest <laughs> as well, I think. Yeah. That's important. So, yeah. yeah. That's an interesting point about overtraining. I guess when you've got a facility like this, which has everything at your yeah. feet, you can spend hours and hours and hours in here. And of course you want to be there, yeah. but it's time, it's obviously crucial to take the time away from it as well. Yeah, I think it is. Like you have to take time, but also you've got to think when you do take time away, it's all like home, it's like diet as well, mentally. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You've got to make good decisions when you're out of the gym. And people forget that, I think. <laughs> I think a word we use for yourself in this process is patience yeah. and it's something that you've really had to have. Did you think the opportunity to be at an Olympics and be qualifying for an Olympics would come maybe five, six years ago when you started this process? Uh, definitely not because obviously I'm for, I was 48 kilos yeah. so then obviously I moved up. So then last time we spoke I was going to the first qualification and then got unlucky there. Um, but since that I've just bit, built and built and built. Every competition I've gone to, I've got a silver medal at 50. So, you know, the new yeah. way at 50, like what more can you ask for? Yeah. That decision and that conversation you had to move up in the weight, what was that like for yourself? I assume it was an easy one. Yeah, at first it was a bit like, oh God, you know, because I'm quite small and that, but then mm. I'm sparring bigger people all the time. So I just thought, do you know what, Dem? Get on with it. It's just yeah. one in a life opportunity, do you know what I mean? And like I said, in six months I can change my whole life. So you just got to stick at it, push and give it your all. Yeah. And the experience and the yeah. type of people you're sparring around here must give you the confidence. You say, you say you're sparring people bigger than you, you're sparring high quality athletes as well. Yeah, 100% definitely. I think the experience will help. Like I've been on it six, six years now, yeah. yeah. So like, and I've been around the world, do you know what I mean? I've fought really good people too, like at 48. And believe it or not, some of the 48s have come up to 50 as well. So, you know, it's not really much, much off. So, and sparring good people, they get people to come in. Or we have camps when we go away. I think there's a actually Italy camp as well after this competition. So we'll just see, and it's all just in the bag, I suppose. We know we're five or six months away from the Olympics now. What would it mean to you to be at that Olympics after the journey you've had here? Um, it would mean the world. Just to get to that Olympics and be an Olympian, from the journeys I've had within my life and the boxing, juggling it all round would be absolutely unreal. And I heard you say in a previous interview you were close with Lauren Price, who was obviously here before, and she's gone on to achieve plenty, obviously, in, in Team GB and in the professional ranks now. How much of an inspiration has she been for your story? Yeah, so it's not just Lauren, it's Karis as well. Lauren and Karis, yeah. they've been such an inspiration. Like, they're my girls. They was my girls when I was on the team. So, like, they're still in the gym. I still see them. You know, they come round. Like, they've always been there for me. So whatever they're doing and whatever they've achieved is making me push on and achieve it myself. Do you still have that contact with them and get that little bit of inspiration and those messages that maybe just bump you up a little bit? Yeah, 100%. Like sometimes when I'm feeling down, we all have our down days, you know, yeah. and you just think, God, do you know what I mean? But Lauren will always message and be like, come on, Dem, six <laughs> months, you're going to change your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, And she's right. As well as Karis, like, come on, do you know, like, sort yourself out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's good. And when you hear it from them, like they've been through it all before, so they know exactly how you feel. 
you know what I mean? Everyone gets their days, but yeah, they're my girls and they make me feel good. And you've seen what they've done in the pro ranks, obviously signed deals with Boxer. Yeah. Lauren's become the first British female champion, which is which is a terrific achievement. And Karis is very much well on the way to that as well. When you look at what they're achieving, you must have the appetite to go and do that yourself. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, I'm not being funny. Uh, Lauren, in the amateur world, won gold and everything. Mm. And that is outstanding. So no doubt in the pros, she's going to do exactly the same. I would have no doubt. And obviously Karis as well, not far behind her. Literally, she gives it her all. And she puts on really good performances. Like, she looks out of this world when she's on um, weight and on uh, all her sharpness and that. She's looking good, to be fair. She's fighting next weekend, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll be good. When you see what they've achieved in, in the pro ranks, does that give you any sort of appetite to go into the pro ranks? You've been here in Team GB yeah. quite a while, you say six yeah. years. Do you have that appetite to go and do that? Um, to be fair, I'm taking it step by step. Do you know, my, my, my goal is the Olympics, so hopefully once I've got to that Olympics and then hopefully I'll medal out at the Olympics and then I'll see where I'm going and where I'm at. And then you'll have promoters left, right and centre <laughs> trying to sign you. Is that the hope? <laughs> we'll see, yeah, that's the hope, but we'll see. <laughs> With the lower weights, they seem to have gained more publicity in the last couple of years than than ever before. You look at people like Sonny Edwards, who are yeah. obviously very outspoken, but he gets his name across and he gets the weights across as well. Bam Rodriguez obviously beat him a, a few weeks back, yeah. but there's certainly some names coming through and they seem to be gaining more exposure than ever. That's got to be got to be a positive. Yeah, definitely. I just think the more the more everyone gets together, really, in the pro uh, boxing, the more you're going to get seen and heard, aren't you? So, yeah. Are you doing plenty more interviews to get seen and heard then? Is that the plan? <laughs> yeah, plenty more interviews. <laughs> well, cheers for your time, Demi. Really appreciate it. And uh, best of luck with competitions coming up. And hopefully we'll see you at the Olympics. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much.